Alright guys, this is Julia Talks and I have JP on my show here and I have come and only here and here today to ask him one question and one question only and that is what would you do for a Klondike bar? What did you say? Would you run in front of a car while I was driving fast? Would you act like a monkey? <laughs> you are okay. All right. I would give you a Klondike bar because you did that. Would you cluck like a chicken? You mean like this? <laughs> it's actually really chickeny and freaking me out. <laughs> You're gonna get so many Klondike bars. And I would do anything for a Klondike bar, but I won't do that. Klondike bars. What would you do? Probably go out and buy one. I personally don't trust the product with such a high confidence level. I'd probably do more to get out of eating one. And they got so many choices, like the Reese's, Heath, Crunch, marijuana. No, seriously, they call it a Krondike bar, which is a mix between the word chronic and making fun of Asians. Aha, uh -huh, Krondike. But with all these options, they forgot the most important one, Snickers. So to start, we're gonna make our own magic shell, which is that chocolate shit you see get hard when it's in contact with something cold. Quite the opposite effect for guys. So we're going to be making a Snickers version of this sauce. So I cut up three large Snickers candy bars and threw them into a small pot, along with one cup of coconut oil, half a cup of corn syrup, and four dark chocolate candy candy bars. Melt on medium low heat until well combined. Pour into a tall pitcher and let it cool down to room temperature using an air conditioner. If you put it in the freezer, you're gonna have a bad time. And if you're just tuning in, that's chocolate. Now grab your favorite tub of ice cream, make a slice down the center, trim off the sides, and make one inch slices. Now just stab it with a fork, dunk it into your magic shell, and place your overrated chocolate square on a piece of wax paper, and if it's cold enough, you won't even need to freeze it. It'll be done. And there you have it folks, Klondike's at home. Now if some annoying person comes up to you and asks, what would you do for a Klondike bar? You just simply kick them in the balls and say, I make my own at home, b Don't do that. All right, guys, we just made Snickers Klondike bars, and I cannot believe they don't exist in stores yet. You want me to answer all your crazy questions about what would you do for? Why? And how about Why this? Ask? What would you do for me? Because we were doing an ice cream dish, we did not want to have these, these things just sitting here melting in front of you. So yes. my lovely assistant, Julia, will now grab them from the freezer. My lovely assistant, JP, will now grab it from the freezer. My lovely assistant, Julia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Excellent. These are almost square. It seems like they're like not falling off the plate. I'm making a little yes. Klondike wrapping thing for it. All right, ready? It's better now. One bite. For the health of it. Mm. Were you dancing? <laughs> I want more nuts. That's what she said. Honestly, this is really good. I would eat this every day of my life. <laughs> I'm incredibly obese. Thank you for coming along on another episode of Healthy Junk Food. If you are new to our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And the notifications icon next to it so you can get live updates. Remember that we post new recipe videos every Sunday. Comment below with your recipe ideas. Thumbs this video up. And check out the JB Talks channel and our all social media links to get all the behind the scenes food madness. And remember, it's not healthy. If it's healthy. <laughs> Chugga, 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 chugga,